At Seven Seas Brewing Company, they're filling up can after can with the taste of nostalgia. The idea of uh, reviving Heidelberg for us was just an absolute no-brainer. Seven Seas bought the old Heidelberg warehouse in 2015. And pretty soon thereafter, we said, what happened to that beer? And wouldn't it be cool to bring it back? Let's have a Heidelberg beer right now. Originally known as Columbia Breweries when it got started in 1912, Heidelberg was one of the biggest breweries in the Northwest. Its student Prince mascot could be seen on billboards. Their hydroplanes racing Lake Washington. Their ads heard on the radio. Heidelberg beer is a beer to pour. They marketed it as having that velvet tang, which is just such a great descriptor. Mike Runyon says it took some digging to come up with the original recipe, but they felt they owed it to Tacoma. Tacoma is a hardworking blue collar community, and I think it really cares about authenticity and grit, and that beer represents that. Hey! Hey, wise guy, what's a working man's friend? <laughs> Heidelberg, of course. Everything's premium except the price. <laughs> In October of 2021, Seven Seas served the first batch of Heidelberg beer in 40 years. So it was like three days before the beer was ready that we said, okay, I think everything's coming together and let's, um, let's do it this Thursday. And for fun, let's do 35 cent beers and exact change only. Even on short notice, the return of Heidelberg brought a crowd to the Seven Seas Taproom. Washington beer blog writer Kendall Jones got there early. I think the beer tastes nostalgic in a very modern way. It still tastes like a modern craft beer, but it also has a certain flavor to it that is reminiscent of the beers of the old days. Especially when nostalgia tastes this good. It's got that velvet tang. Let's have a hearty, hearty, hearty.